Definitely not this bolt action rifle shit. You got good eyes. Semi automatic. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Got that. Let's see. Can we buy any more RPGs? We can only hold eight rockets. And buy body armor. There we go. We're good. And that barely made a dent into my fortune. See you, brother. All right. Yo! And let me just trying to think on my time here. Let's go see Francis McCreary. Let's see whatever the hell he needs. Blood Brothers, huh? Why didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus, you know Derek's not well. No? No. He's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight. Making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist. About his family! About me! Well, tell him to be quiet! I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughing stock. Cop with the famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not mm. this. Not this. Uh, you got the big problem, then. Me? Ah, uh, we, my friend. We. You stop it. <coughs> stop? Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lansing. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy. Disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. Wow. Holy shit. Tam. Alright, well, I guess we're go. And guzzling high fructose corn syrup didn't give you enough attention deficit disorder, all is lost. Never have a spare moment with a bittersweet personal email device. Finally, be really productive. Get drunk and send suggestive emails to a co worker. Motivate colleagues by sending cryptic, furious And that's the text message from Derek asking us to be everywhere and take out Frankie. With instant email. The bittersweet. Available soon. Oh man, here we go again. Another decision we have to make. I can't get any closer than this, so I have to drop you off right here. Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Well, that didn't give it away at all, did it? Right 
here we go. Derek, my brother! Frankie, what's this about? I've got to say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shat myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. Here we go. Who do I kill? Francis? Or Derek? Let's make a phone call first. Let's call good old Francis. Just a second here, Derek. I gotta speak to one of the sergeants. Hey, what's the problem? I thought you were gonna make something happen for me. I'm not so sure about it. What's gonna make you sure? You want me to give you a raise? Hit yes. That might help. All right then. Call it a bonus. Make this happen. All right, so I'm sure a lot of people would disagree me with me, guys, but I'm going to pick Derek simply because there's absolutely no incentive for you to pick Frankie. I mean, aside from the fact that he's a big cocksucker, you know, Derek is such a nice, is much nicer guy. But you'll you'll understand why I made this decision. So I'm sorry, but rest in peace, Derek. Police officer, come on, clear the area, clear the area. Derek, shit, he's my brother. Yeah, bullshit, you cared about him. You can't kill both of them, you'll fail the mission if you try to. Let's go. And we're done. Finally. I did what you wanted me to do. I killed your brother. You don't think I know that? Christ, it happened right in front of me. I can feel you looking at me through that scope. Well, it's done. You and me are over. At least Jerry and Packy are honest about what they do. You're a crook, hiding behind his badge and the reputation. You know what, Frankie boy? I'm going to use that. I ever feel the heat on me? I'll call you, and you're going to make shit go away. Is that cool? Sounds like I don't have a choice. So there you go. If you kill Francis, you get absolutely nothing. If you kill Derek, you get ten thousand. Or if you call Derek, if you call Francis and he and he offers the raise, you he can bump it up to twenty thousand. And you now get this option where you can make you can make your wants level go away without using the cheat. So. Trying to see if maybe it's if it's there or not. Oh no, not yet. Well, we'll get it soon. But there you go. All right, so I'm done recording for the day, so we're gonna go back to the apartment. All right, here we go. He sent us the he sent us the text message. Including extreme tones, please. Alright. 
So there you go, you have a clear wanted option now. So if you're ever in trouble with the cops, you can call him. You're not guaranteed, though, that he'll clear the heat for you. It's kind of a gamble and a chance. So if, we're ever, if we ever get into trouble, you can do it, but it's not, it's not a guarantee. Just remember that. All right, so I'm going to switch into my suit. All right, and I'll see you guys next week.